This video is going to show how we can create an automated action to update the state of a PO. So we're going to look at our automated action in this tab. The name I gave it was confirmation of PO. So rather than going to RFQ, uh, it goes directly to the PO state. And so on creation, we are going to update the record and we are going to uh, update this field and the value is going to the purchase state. We can also edit the domain to meet our criteria and you can access any record uh, as well to accommodate that. And so other than updating the record we could execute Python, we could um, create a new record, we could execute several uh, creation or updates, we could send emails, follow-ups, uh, text messages, anything like that. Um, and then we can access any of the fields on the actual PO uh, because that's the model we're in. And if we want to access another model, we can uh, use Python to reference it. So we are going to, going to save this, I already have it set and the evaluation type is whether so for this status for example we want it to automatically be in the purchase status so that's why we're inputting purchase into the value of our status we could also reference uh, another uh, order not for this example but that's what you could do uh, or you could dynamically uh, with a python expression so I'm going to go into my sales order. So this is my sales order here. I'm going to create a new one. So when I purchase test product here and I confirm it, it's automatically going to take us to the purchase order and we see that the state is automatically in the purchase order state rather than in the RFQ or RFQ sent state. And from there it automatically scheduled our receipt. So this is now in our inventory when we're waiting to receive this product.